It's time to talk about how the body works and why big industry and why the sugar industry has made us believe that eating fats is bad. They've demonized fats. You see, there's money in big industry. We know this. But what about how our bodies are actually supposed to run at a cellular level? How is our metabolism really supposed to work? You see, all kinds of people, they, they fancy up these diet kicks, they fancy up these diet fads, but in reality, nobody wants to address the simple process of how the body actually works when it comes to feeling better or when it comes to feeling like you have more energy. The simple thing is it's all been masqueraded by the media. It's been masqueraded by big industry. And it's an easier path to believe just what's right in front of us. But in reality, if we educate ourselves and we learn how our bodies work, we can find that sometimes these foods that have been demonized, these foods that are said to be bad, might actually be truly amazing for us. And there's truly a way that you can tap your body into a state where it feels absolutely amazing eating some of these foods that we've been told are terrible for us for years. But before I go any further, let me tell you a little bit about who I am and why you should hear me out on this. My name is Thomas DeLauer. You've probably seen me on the covers of some magazines or maybe you've read some of my articles or my papers, but you may not know my full story. You see, I was 280 pounds. I was working a corporate desk job. I was overstressed, overworked. I was dealing with joint pain, brain fog, just about everything that you could imagine. I was dealing with mood disorders, anxiety, depression. I was kind of the stereotypical unhealthy American. And the funny thing was, the irony is I worked in the healthcare space. I worked alongside some amazing physicians and I knew what was up and coming in the industry, but I was so wrapped up in feeling cruddy, I could never see the forest through the trees. And if you know my story, you know that my wife suffers from something called Lyme disease. And this Lyme disease has spiraled into all kinds of things, one of which being an autoimmune condition that affects the thyroid. You know that that's a very crucial gland when it comes to regulating your metabolism. You see, since we were immersed in the healthcare industry, and when we realized that we needed that pattern interrupt to start feeling better and course correct our lives, we were able to dive headfirst into research and really realize and surround ourselves with the greatest people, the greatest minds, to really know what it takes to feel amazing, to look amazing, and to live the most energized life possible without always having to listen to what's right in front of us on the TV screen. With me being grossly overweight and her being sick, Right in front of us, we had the ability to pave our own ways to better health, but in the process, help millions of others. So why does all this matter? Well, what I'm about to tell you is going to completely go against the grain of everything you've probably heard for the last 10 or 15 years. Heck, honestly, even the last two or three decades. It's gonna absolutely blow your mind. A lot of the foods that have been masqueraded and demonized by big industry could actually be the ticket to feeling amazing and getting in the best possible shape of our lives. I literally mean that we can be eating some of the foods that we absolutely love. And yes, I'm literally talking about bacon, I'm talking about eggs, I'm talking about fattier cuts of meat, I'm talking about some cheeses, I'm talking about butters. And if you choose them right and you put them in the right place, they actually might be a key to feeling truly amazing and tapping into a lot of energy that you may not have had before. You see, it comes down to the fact that our bodies are adaptive. They're going to adapt to certain things that we eat. And since we've been so blinded by all the media to what kinds of foods we can really use to get our bodies adapted to, we haven't been able to see the forest through the trees with what might actually work. So what do I actually mean when I say your body's adaptive? What I mean is that if you eat lots of carbs and lots of sugars, your body is gonna get adapted to that. It's gonna get used to running on carbs and sugars. Now, if you eat a lot of protein, your body can get adapted to that. In fact, your body can even start to convert protein into sugars within the body. This is called gluconeogenesis, and I'll talk about that another time. But what if you can get your body to operate on fats? If you can get your body to operate on fats, that's where the magic truly happens. And this is honestly a state of metabolism. It's not like it just happens by eating high fat foods. You're actually shifting your body into a specific state, and you have to follow a specific criteria to initially get there, but once you're there, it's easy because you're eating the foods you enjoy. You're eating the bacon, you're eating the cheeses, you're eating the meats, you're eating the butters. It's easy to adhere to it. So imagine how effective it can be if your body knows how to use fat and even its own fat for fuel. But in order to get there, you have to follow specific timing and specific protocol. And it's really easy, but the first thing that you have to do is you have to stop listening to what the mainstream media is telling us. We have to stop listening to big industry and we have to take matters into our own hands and educate ourselves. 
But if you can get your body to a state where it's utilizing fats, that's where the ability to adhere to this for a long period of time and have true long lasting effects comes into place. It's like you don't even feel like you're following a healthy lifestyle, but truly deep down, you feel the benefits of it. Now I've authored some good pieces surrounding the world of inflammation. Sure, I'm not a doctor, but honestly, I've lived an unhealthy lifestyle before and I've overcome that. And I've realized that some of the anti-inflammatory foods that I normally promote aren't always realistic to eat all the time. I'm fully behind those. I'm fully behind an anti-inflammatory lifestyle, 100%. But I also understand that for those of us that are living real lives, that are going to work, that have busy lives, it's not always sustainable and realistic to eat only the specific anti-inflammatory foods. So I realized that I had to dive in and start to think about a way that was sustainable in a way that's backed by research and backed by real knowledge that the body can operate in a truly healthy and efficient way. And honestly, that's where the simple process of getting your body to run on fats for fuel comes in. You see, it's actually pretty simple. When you get your body to run on fats for fuel, then when you actually are in a calorie deficit, your body's used to running on fats. So you've been priming your body with dietary fats the right way, not some bogus way. So then when you actually deprive yourself of calories for a little bit, your body says, wait a minute, where are the fats? And it starts to pull them from your stored body fat because it's so used to it and so adapted to running on fats for fuel. Now you can obviously see how this is amazing for fat loss, but what about the whole other world out there? What about just feeling better? Well, here's a little bit of simple science for you. You see, it comes down to the fact that carbohydrates contain four calories per gram. Proteins contain four calories per gram, but fats contain nine calories per gram. Now, big industry and the main media will tell us that more calories equals bad. Something that has more caloric density is going to help us put on weight faster. But the reality is we have to look at that differently. And I encourage you to look at it the way that I'm looking at it right now. If fat has nine calories per gram and other energy sources that our body runs on have four, if we can get our body ruthlessly efficient at running on those fats, it's like running on jet fuel versus running on 87 octane. This means your body has more energy. It means your body has more energy for healing. It means your body has more energy for recovery. It means it has more energy for focus, for loving your family, everything that you could think of. And if our body has more energy and we have more mitochondrial efficiency, the body is operating the way that it should, then we can actually feel the way that we used to, the way that we remember, the way that life should be feeling. But just so you know that I'm not some random guy on the internet, take a look at what some people have said about some of the other programs that I've been involved with. So I'm just over a month on the program and I'm knocking on that 10 pound mark. In one month, I didn't think it would ever happen for me. Thank you, Thomas Andrew DeLauer and Amber DeLauer. In my book, You Rock, you've put your heart and soul into a program that truly gives results. This girl is on cloud nine. I am on week five of Thomas's plan. I've lost 28 pounds and I'm down one and a half pant sizes. Even more important, I can honestly say I have never felt this well in my entire life. My friends wonder why I stick with it through barbecue parties and camping trips. They drink wine and beer and I drink water. It's so easy when all the joint pain is gone and I feel so good. Thank you, thank you. So it's time to make things sustainable for ourselves. No more crash dieting. No more making short impulse decisions that are going to affect us and help us feel good for seven or eight days. We're talking about making a lifestyle change that is easy. Eating the foods that you enjoy, but eating the foods that you enjoy that are helping you at a cellular level and helping your mitochondria, that little energy powerhouse in the cell, make you the person that you know you can be and doing it for a lifetime, not just for a week. Let's talk about kicking your body into high gear. Let's talk about kicking your body into a state that you never even knew existed. Let's talk about getting your body where you want it. Eating bacon, eating cheese, eating some of those saturated fats that we've been told are bad for years. Make a change that doesn't feel like a change. Now to be fair, 
you may remember methodologies of eating like this from 15 or 20 years ago. They existed. Some of the research was there. But what was lacking then was the drive that we have as consumers now. The drive that we have as the population to educate ourselves and truly understand what we're putting in our bodies and how it works, how it turns to energy. I want to bring new research so that you can arm yourself with the knowledge that you need to get the body that you want, to feel the way that you want to feel. We have to improve. We constantly have to continue our education and learn new ways to enhance things that already work. There's no need to reinvent the wheel every single day. We can just enhance and better what we know already works. We're in a position now to truly take matters into our own hands and educate ourselves so that life doesn't have to be as hard as everyone makes it out to be. Eating right doesn't have to be as hard as everyone makes it out to be. Because what is eating right anyway? So that's why I've created a short program to show you the ropes, to show you how this process can work to show you what I've used with my clients and with my research team to truly get our bodies into that state where we can feel amazing. Because it's not just about eating loads of high fat foods. We have to do it right. And there is somewhat of a formula. And it's not complex, but it's important that it's done right. And I wanna walk you through it. So if you click on the link, we can get started today. For just a couple dollars a day, you can embark on a transition into a new way of living that gives you so much more energy, that helps you feel like the person you used to be without having to completely change your life. It's time to make a change. It's time to take matters into our own hands and educate ourselves on how our bodies work. This isn't about just taking something really quick and getting in great shape. This is about something that's long lasting. It's education and it's the power to take what you know and apply it for the rest of your life. So click on the link and I'll see you on the next page.